Welcome back to Tech It Out. Fires caused when recharging rechargeable batteries have been around for as long as we've had rechargeable batteries. But lately they've been highlighted probably because we have so many more gadgets and toys which use rechargeable batteries. Last year it was the hoverboard. We've had various phone battery fires such as the iPhone fires. And most recently, of course, we've had the Galaxy Note 7 fires. I myself received a small item in the post quite recently, which came in this bag, which says on it, lithium ion battery, do not load or transport package if damaged. And this is because of a fire risk, which got me thinking. So I ordered this to have a look to see how we could protect ourselves against this kind of fire. Let's just get it open. You'll have to excuse the state of my nails in this video as I've been burning various items to see what was best to test this out with a bit later on. And this is the item in question, a lipo guard. It's a bag to charge or store your LiPo batteries in. And as you can see on the front there, never leave charging batteries unattended. Always ensure the battery is on a non-flammable surface. Ensure flap is sealed when charging and reduces the chances of damage in the event of a LiPo fire. So this is supposed to contain the fire or indeed not allow the fire to start in the first place, I would imagine. It's marketed as a LiPo battery safety bag to prevent or contain a fire if ever one should occur. Now inside, as you can see, it has a small little strap there. I think it's supposed to be a fiberglass interior and this silvery exterior, which feels like nylon to me, which is a little bit worrying. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to test it out. But first of all, we're going to have a look and see how we actually use the bag. Here are some items that we might use in the bag. So I'm just going to pull the bag open now and we'll have a look at the various things, how they fit and where you'd put them in the bag. As you can see, it's quite a sizable bag. And I have your quadcopter batteries and you've got a little strap there to keep them in place. You can put them in. I think you can put three items in here at a time, according to the advert that I read. So we've got two LiPo batteries and a phone in there now. But there's a lot more room in there, so we can put a lot more stuff in. Got my camera battery here for the Nikon I'm using to film. My old iPhone 5, which you saw in my last video. My Galaxy Note and my old Nook tablet. But even the Nook tablet seems to fit in there without any problem. A little bit snug, but it fits in. Doesn't quite fit the other way around, but if we put it in lengthways, it fits in. Of course, you might think this would be a good idea for perhaps you're traveling somewhere. You could put all your various items into the bag. And if anything should happen and toward, then it would protect you from the effects of the fire or at least give you some time to manage the fire. As you can see, everything I had on the table there all fits in the bag quite snugly and quite securely. So you just pull it all back out now. Then I'm going to show you how I've decided I'm going to test this bag and the items I'm going to use. Don't forget my battery, I'm going to need that soon. Before we have a look at how we're going to test the bag and the items we're going to use, let's have a little look first at how we can use the bag for its intended purpose, or one of its intended purposes, that is charging some of these various items. We're going to use the phone first and we're going to put it in the bag and just demonstrate how it would sit in the bag really. 
So we'll just plug it in and put it in the bag. And then we close the bag down. with the wire coming out. And there the phone is in the bag nice and snugly, charging away and if anything should happen the bag contains the fire. Or so it claims. A little bit concerned really, although there is plenty of room in the bag, about the phone actually heating up more because it's in such a confined and thermally insulated place. It may actually add to the heat of the battery in the phone. Now we can do the same with the batteries for the tablet or for my quadcopter. So I'll just throw my quadcopter battery in there first of all. So I'll just plug it into the charger and drop it inside, just as I did with the phone. and exactly the same. Close the bag up and again if anything should happen the bag claims that it will contain the fire. So how are we going to test this bag? Well after looking at various things I've decided on a couple of things that we can use. The first of these is charcoal briquettes. They're similar things to what you'd use on a barbecue only smaller and my blowtorch here to actually light them with. Now we're going to go outside because I don't think this is a safe thing to do inside and it would probably set all my alarms off. First of all then we're going to light the charcoal briquettes. It's a little bit damp and windy outside today. They don't take long to light up at all. Not with the blowtorch anyway. We get them nice and lit. Unfortunately, all you'll be able to see in the video is them going a little bit grey, but I can assure you that they are burning red hot, which is why I don't want to touch them with my fingers. And I use this pole to just turn them over so I can light the other side as well. As you can see they're greying off now. If it was a little bit darker you'd see them glowing red hot at this point. As I said they're exactly the same as barbecue charcoal. So they get to the point now where they're fully lit. One thing I didn't want to do with this part of the video is to make any cuts in the video so it will take a little bit longer. I didn't want to be accused of doing anything untoward. I wanted you to be able to see the whole process of the testing. So there we go, you can see now that they are fully lit. You see a bit of a flame on them as well there. So we're going to take them now, very carefully, put them inside the bag to simulate a phone battery which has overheated and has started to burn inside the bag. And in they go. You can see them in the back of the bag there. Now one thing I was a little bit concerned about was the strap in there because it is an elastic strap and I would imagine that's flammable, which in a fireproof bag seems a bit odd. And I put in a bit of paper underneath to see if any heat comes through the bag itself. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a bit of smoke coming off that elastic already. The bag is beginning to char. Now the next part is to see what would happen when the phone actually caught fire and a flame came. You can see now quite clearly the bag is starting to smoke. 
as I'm trying to light this low torch in the wind. And the bag is smoking away a lot now. The bag itself as well as the straps are burning. And the wind is blowing out the torch again. I'm not going to put the torch directly on them. I'm, I'm just going to point the end of the flame at the briquettes. This bag is definitely burning already. The briquettes are burning through it. And I think that's all I need to do because the bag is fully aflame now. Put the torch away out of the way completely now because this bag is well alight. And the fire has actually burned through the bag completely. The briquettes weren't actually touching the top of the bag. And there was quite a, a gap between the briquettes and the top of the bag itself, but as you can see, it's burnt completely through the top of the bag. So I think we can say definitely that this is a fail. And this bag is not only incapable of containing a fire, but it would probably add to the fire and is in itself extremely dangerous. I would not want to put any batteries in this to charge them. At the end of the day, it would be like putting your batteries on top of a pile of dried paper or even some fuel. So I'm just going to put this out now before it gets any more light because there's some thick black acrid smoke which isn't very pleasant at all. And of course, as you probably know, smoke is the main killer in any fire. So I'll leave it cool just a few moments more and we'll have a look at it. I think it's out completely now. Let's just pick it up and have a look at the damage. Burned through completely to the bottom of course, charring the paper underneath. So I'm just going to tip the water out. You see the hole in the bottom and the top, which wasn't in contact with the briquettes. And I didn't point the flame of the blowtorch at. Completely burned through. So that is definitely a fail. Now there are products out there that will help protect you against this type of fire. And I hope in a video coming up soon to be able to bring you one of those products. But for now, thank you for watching.